Whether you're an aspiring minimalist or you've been a minimalist for years, there are so many reasons why minimalism is beneficial and right for you. Today we're going to be talking about those and I hope this either serves as an amazing reminder of the benefits of minimalism or it gives you inspiring reasons why you should consider minimalism as a really incredible lifestyle with a ton of benefits attached to it. I really hope that you get a lot of value from this video and that you enjoy it. Hey guys, my name is Ashlyn and I make videos twice a week on this channel about minimalism and intentional living. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing below. But with no further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the nine reasons why you should become a minimalist. I think one of the most attractive reasons, at least from the outset, uh, why you should consider becoming a minimalist is that tidying up as a minimalist is so much easier. This is coming from someone who hates cleaning and just doesn't enjoy it. But when you have less in your life, it is so much easier to clean up, not only to tidy, but also to clean. And just that process is so expedited because when you don't have a lot of stuff to begin with, it's hard for it to get tracked all around the house. And on top of that, the whole dusting and cleaning and mopping and trying to go around surfaces and everything like that, can be really time consuming when you have less stuff, when you have less furniture, when you have uh, less knickknacks to dust around, that also goes a lot faster. So it's just one of those small benefits that you don't realize how much time you actually save tidying and cleaning up uh, by owning less each week. But I'm telling you, it is a drastic difference and I love it. The second one I think is really crucial and I think it might be one of my favorite benefits of minimalism, but is that you save so much money. Whether it's because you're spending less by consuming less or that you're saving money just by not having to worry about maintaining things, it definitely has huge, huge benefits for cost savings, your ability to pay off debt, anything like that. Christopher and I have never saved more in our lives than since we've uh, started adopting a more minimalist lifestyle. It's really awesome at the end of every month being able to see the amount in our savings account go up. That is a fantastic benefit. I think that without minimalism too, we might be more tempted than we are to go into debt, but neither of us have any kind of temptation of that kind because we know that we can be secure in our finances by just simply choosing to own less. So definitely owning less and consuming less, which are two like basic tenets of minimalism, if you will, have huge repercussions on your ability to be able to save and invest and really just grow uh, the amount of money that you have, which obviously money isn't everything, but there is definitely a degree of safety and just of peace and security that comes with knowing that if your car breaks down or if you have to go to the hospital for something, that you're not going to be, you know, having to go into debt over that. And I love just kind of being able to live that debt-free lifestyle. That is definitely something that minimalism allows you to do. Number three is that you experience less stress. And this was definitely true for me. One of the main reasons why I found minimalism in the first place was because when I was in that place of having too much stuff around me, that stuff exerts this like physical weight on you and it just kind of it's hard to describe, but in a sense, it almost pulls you down. By getting rid of all the stuff in your lives, all of that unnecessary stuff, all of that clutter, it really does reduce your stress levels because you're not worrying about things and you're able to focus more on what you're passionate about without having those thoughts of what if, oh no, <laughs> just crossing your mind constantly. So definitely minimalism can help reduce your stress levels. Same thing with your anxiety levels. I found that my anxiety and my stress levels definitely went down as I adopted a more minimalist mindset. Number four is that you make more use of the space that you live in. I think it's really easy to just kind of see a space and you know feel like you need to fill up every single area of it. 
but there's something to be said for having room to just move around in. In our last apartment, I honestly would have barely had the room to stretch on the floor because there was always some piece of furniture uh, cluttering up the space that we were in. But now I definitely have the room to move around and it's really freeing. I do feel like I get to have the opportunity to use all of the space that I'm in now instead of in a way having some areas blocked off because they were just full of stuff. It wasn't an inviting place to be and there wasn't too much room to move around. So that's definitely a huge benefit in my eyes. This benefit is for all of you students out there and it's that you get less distractions and so it's easier to focus. When you're constantly thinking about all of the stuff that you need to do to clean, to tidy, uh, all of those little things that minimalism helps you create that space, uh, it makes it a lot easier to focus when you use the principles of minimalism to declutter your space, to declutter your phone, to turn off your notifications, um, and really just kind of create space that allows you to focus. With minimalism, with decluttering my space, I really have found it a lot easier to kind of get in the zone when I'm really trying to concentrate and focus. And I think it makes me more present too when I'm not concentrating on all the things around me. So that's definitely a huge benefit. And if you find yourself always, you know, being distracted really easy, having your attention pulled away from you, always checking the notifications on your phone, anything like that, definitely minimalism is something that can hugely, hugely help with that. Number six is that you know where all of your stuff is. And this one is kind of obvious. If you declutter your space, if you have less stuff, then obviously you're going to be able to find what you have a lot more easily. But I know so many people who this is absolutely not the case for. There are just so many places where they can put things down, lose them really easily, have to ruffle through a drawer of utensils to find the right one they need in their kitchen, anything like that. When it really comes down to it, we use about 20% of the stuff that we actually own on the whole. So if you're able to get rid of that extra 80% using minimalism and just focus on that 20 it's going to be so much easier to find them. I love this one. It's that you have more time to do what you're passionate about and what you love. And there are so many different things cluttering up our schedules, our spaces, our time, and that really just take up uh, the life out of us that, and leave us kind of wanting. We don't have enough time to do all of the things that we're passionate about and love. And by applying the principles of minimalism, by decluttering your schedule, by not having as much stuff that you need to spend time taking care of and maintaining, you are absolutely able to really just get so much more out of your life. Whatever your priorities are, whatever your passions are, if you use the principles of minimalism, if you get rid of like the superfluous things in your schedule and in your life, you have so much more time to be able to focus on the things that you truly love, which to be honest, is so freeing and it's amazing. I think this is another important one to talk about and it's that when you apply the principles of minimalism, you're going to have a lot less of an environmental impact. The environment is definitely something that we should consider and take care of. This world is the only one that we have. And honestly, I think that applying the principles of minimalism and being more of intentional about what you bring into your life is a great way to reduce your environmental impact. Consume less and con consume better is definitely uh, huge within the minimalist lifestyle and if you can do that you know and really apply that to your life you're definitely going to reduce your environmental impact by a lot. And this last one I really like because I'm not naturally an organized person, but when you apply minimalism to your life, your space becomes naturally organized simply because you own less. Now I am not naturally an organized person, but ever since I started applying the principles of minimalism, I all of a sudden have people telling me that, oh wow, Ashley, you're so organized. It's not naturally me. I'm naturally a very scattered brain person who hates anything to do with organization. But at the same time, when I apply minimalism and I just get rid of the excess, when I get rid of what's superfluous, all of a sudden I seem organized because I simply have less to deal with. So that's definitely a huge benefit and honestly you do also save a lot of time in this category because 
if your space is naturally organized, you don't need to spend time organizing it. So pro tip. <laughs> Anyways, guys, those are the nine reasons why you should become a minimalist or the nine benefits of minimalism. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found some kind of inspiration from it. Let me know though, if there were any I missed, let me know in the comments. I'm sure there are other reasons why people should consider becoming minimalists or other benefits of minimalism. So let me know what they are in the comments. I'm excited to read them. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day today. Remember to subscribe today if you haven't already. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you in the next video.